fix this. Initial impact is right here. And what happened was this whole edge folded down. So what do I do? Work it in reverse order. So I pull this out with the slide hammer while hammering down this brow right here. And once I have this straight, stick a stud pin here and pull that out while pulling this out and hammering this down. So you work it in reverse order.
just a few spreader marks. Now I'm going to switch over to 120, guide coat it. But first, we've got a pinhole there, pinhole there, a little divot there, and a pinhole there, and uh, right there. So I'm going to fill those, guide coat it, and finish her off. done this is fine right here and plus you don't really want filler on your edges and the only thing is this right here but when I run my hand on it I could tell that a uh, primer will take care of that and uh, that's fine and that's fine and you actually want to see something like that kind of poke up a little bit to show you that uh you're not just hogging it on there. And this makes me happy because uh, on the other door, on the front, it's slightly pillowed as well. And it's also out right here on the other door. It's weird. It's the same thing. Lock like this. I'm going to get on the roof and uh, it appears that someone was running around up here basically on this side um, and when people do that you'll get a lot of brows a lot of high spots so what I'm going to do is I'm going to block this metal I'm going to block a little bit on the other side and I'm going to try to stay away from skin coat this whole thing and uh just uh, fill where needed. You can kind of see a brow right here. Right there. So, I'm going to block it and uh, show you what I come up with.
there's all your damage. If you look in the middle, I didn't block in the middle because uh, I developed my hand fill so good that I know what the primer will cover and what it won't cover. But uh, blocking was important nonetheless because now I know where all my high spots are. One thing I wanted to point out, sometimes it takes more than one, and as you can see, they're all flat because I'm rolling the metal out. <clears throat> if they were TP'd, it would probably be because I'm not rolling it out, and so it's not rolling out, it's just pulling up in the immediate area, and that's kind of like if you're doing a quarter and you don't uh, pull it all the way, and it has a kink in it and then you try to work out the kink, it's going to do the same thing.